Hi, it's Maura Gamble from uh, the Permaculture Education Institute and the Ethos Foundation. And I have some very special guests with me today because we're drawing Billy's Blanket Raffle. And we have today with us Billy. Give us a wave, Billy. Hi. Billy. And we have a sister, Eve, who's one of the co founders of Perma Youth, and Maya as well, who's another founder of Perma Youth. So thank you so much, everyone who have donated and bought um, raffle tickets. Uh, for Billy's Blanket because we've been able to raise, can you guess how much we've raised, Eve? Any idea? 1,400? No, up. How much do you think, Billy? Uh, about 2,500. Uh, I think you need to go up a bit more. 9,000? Oh, well, somewhere in the middle there. Um, we raised $4,090. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, girls. It's been absolutely amazing. And thank you to everyone who's watching this and everyone who's donated because this has been such a generous uh, donations from everyone around the world as well because this money is going directly, 100% of it is going directly to support young people in refugee camps to get a permaculture education, to get a, a set of tools and seeds to be able to start their garden. Because the thing is that um, they tell us that, you know, rations have been cut in half in refugee camps and they're and that the hunger is is growing. So permaculture is a huge thing. And also their schools are shut till February. So it's it's an education that's continuing while that has all stopped. So there's so many reasons why. But anyway, I wanted to show you Billy's blanket. This is the prize. This is the prize. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this beautiful blanket, Billy? This frog blanket is 100% pure wool from Vinegar Woolen Mills. <laughs> so and, nice yeah it is and the frog piece in the middle took about five hours to do especially with my mum's help oh, wow and it took me and my mum about five weeks to do and it says relax in there can you yeah. see that there yeah it's beautiful. It's, it's just exquisite. The quality of the work that you do is just amazing. And I watch you too. You're not, you know, you're just like, <laughs> these squares come out. I see you do it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And what, there's something else that's special about this blanket, Billy. Didn't it win an award somewhere? Yes. Um, this frog blanket won first prize at Noosa Country Show. Yeah, so this, there's going to be a very, very lucky winner uh, of, this, uh, of this blanket. And I've been um, keeping it nice and safe since you gave it to me, the last Perma Youth Camp, hoping I would win. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I, think it's, I think it's fitting that someone else should get it. I got to, I got to kind of look at it for, for a week or so. So to, before we draw the, the winner, though, um, would one of you like to tell us a little bit about just quickly what is Perma Youth and what what is it like? Because every week you talk with these um, the Perma Youth clubs in refugee camps. Do you want to say a little bit about what what that's all like to be part of that? So the Perma Youth is a group of teenagers, well, kind of teenagers from like ten to sixteen, and we meet up every Sunday. And yeah, the refugees join on on that call. And um, yeah, they're from, we've got uh, members from all around the world, from like Europe and Asia and North America, and also um, from Uganda and Kenya in refugee camps. And Zanzibar. And Zanzibar, yes. Yes, it's, a, it's incredible to be able to help these, um, the, these people in the refugee camps and being able to help with their education and so that they can grow their own food to sustain themselves it's just uh, I feel so enlightened and thankful that so many people have donated and that it's just incredible that we're able to help um, these people yeah thanks Eve thanks Maya thanks Billy so we've been able to um, send over um, tools seeds water tanks um, and also where actually we haven't been sending them we're sending the funds for them to buy them locally that makes so much more sense because they can get them immediately so actually as a matter of fact all the money that's been raised already is in the communities there's already um, new programs started so they're not waiting for this this has gone directly 
And also the other thing, because we were able to raise um, enough money, we're also sending over um, a, a sewing machine so they can get uh, some materials, having some um, like fixing clothes and also doing um, washable sanitary pads for young girls and things like that. So that's a whole other range of, of um, possibilities there and income possibilities too. So I think we should draw this raffle. What do you think? Now, Billy, I have a number between one and 409. Now, all I need you to do is to pick a number, a random number between one and 409. You haven't seen this list and Maya hasn't spoken to you about anyone that's on it. So you just got to say a number and then Maya will find the corresponding person on the list here. I reckon 325. 325, let me write that down. Good number. Um, Amanda Cahill. Amanda Carl. Wow. Congratulations, Amanda. I know Amanda. She lives in Brisbane. She'll be so, so delighted to have won this prize. And um, her work, she works a lot with something called The Next Economy. And uh, she's, she's going to be joining actually on a, on a podcast soon, which is really exciting too. So thank you so, so much, Billy. It's been just such a gift uh, and such an inspiration to have your blanket, to be part of this, to inspire the raising of so much money um, for the Perma Youth and uh, the Perma Youth in Refugee Camp. So thank you again. And thank you to Eve and Maya for holding the space with the, with the Perma Youth. Um, for anyone who wants to know more about any of this, uh, the Perma Youth meet every Sunday, as Maya men mentioned, and if you'd like to get involved, if you have young people who'd like to get involved in Perma Youth, um, learning about permaculture and getting involved in these sorts of projects, um, permayouth.org, um, you can sign up there. And also, if you're wanting, um, even though the raffle is finished, we are still, of course, always welcoming you to donate money towards uh, the, the refugee camps, but also women's farms and a whole range of other programs that we support through, um, through Ethos Foundation. So you can find out and donate at ethosfoundation.org.au. And it's a registered Australian charity that we run. And like I said before, 100% of the donations go directly to the communities that we work with and we stay in touch with so we can see the impact. So thanks again, girls. It's been lovely to have you on this call. And um, I know that Amanda is going to be absolutely delighted to hear the news and I will get the blanket to her as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.